Hi, it's Greg, WJ6F. In today's video, WRNM382, because we're going to be talking about the BTEC GMRS Pro. Watch until the end where I show you an impact test conducted with a third disinterested party. And we'll get started right after this. Then to come in the box, you get this flat tip Phillips screwdriver for putting on the belt clip. You get a USB charging cable for USB C and A, owner's manual, antenna, 26 milliamp hour battery, and the radio itself. Okay, the operating manual, owner's manual for the GMRS Pro is very well written. You do not need a UN translator for this. It's got good color diagrams. The appendix give you all the menu options that you'll need including the DCS and CTCSS tables. And they even talk about if you have other issues and want to know more information, you can go to Mickler.com. Another item I picked up is the K1 adapter for the GMRS Pro. It has the M1 width prongs and allows you to use some of the K1 style plugs that you might have for programming cables or microphones. Starting with the left side, you have the push talk button, then you have two programmable buttons. Now there's four selections that each one of these can do depending if you hold, a short single press, a double click, or a long press. On the top, you have another programmable button. This one has two options, whether it's a short single press or a long press. You have the antenna, and you have the power volume knob, and then this is for the GPS. Take this cover off to access the M1 port for plugging in microphones and programming cables. The battery release is on the bottom. Then on the front, you have your display screen. You have the button for up and down. This is the OK button. Menu button. This takes you out of the menu. And this will back you up one page. At the time of filming this video, the GMRS Pro is going for $154.89 on Amazon. One of the things they say they're coming out with is some different accessories. They're talking about a Bluetooth microphone. This operates, since it's GMRS, it is channelized, so it operates from 462.5500 to 467.7250 megahertz. They give you six channel banks with 30 channels each, giving you a total of 180 total channels. It's programmable with the GMRS, NOAA, or you can Listen on VHF, UHF. The output power is either half a watt or five watts. Don't know why they call them privacy tones or not really, but you have access to all the CTCSS and DCS tones. The accessory jack on the side is what is known as an M1 port. It is two pin and it is IP67 waterproof. Then they show you a comparison between some of their other radios. Let's take a look at the menu right quick. On the top row is for setting up the commercial FM radio stations. Then you have signaling. This is where you go for sending messages and seeing if there's anybody nearby and setting up your signaling if you're going to allow people to see where you are. Then you have the radio settings. Allows you to do dual watch, scan, talk around, adjust your power setting, Channel groups, this is where you can put different channels to get you the 180 channels that they say the radio can hold. Your squelch level. Transmit time limit. This has to do with the tail elimination and push to talk. Your sound settings. How you want everything to look, and you can adjust your time zone from here as well. It's where you go for pairing the radio to the 
app on your phone or tablet. Setting up NOAA, you can do a weather scan. You can select a weather channel, set up an alert, or monitor the weather channels. Sync settings, these are for if you have a friend that has one of these radios and he's got several different repeaters and settings that you'd like to have if you're traveling together, he can send them to you so you don't have to sit there and take up time inputting them yourself. Tone scanning, this allows you to search for a PL tone. Your GPS status. I don't have mine on right now since I'm inside a basically Faraday cage with stucco and chicken wire. This allows you to set up the compass. And this shows the phone's status. Your power level, your voltage, what version you're using, part number. Okay, the way you pair this, the first thing you do, go to your app store. Search for BTEC, and it should come up right there at the top. Go ahead and download it to your phone. Once it's there, open it. You can choose on this for me, only while using app. Yes, for allowing to use Bluetooth. Next, you're going to want to turn on the radio. Open up the device list. Go into menu. Go down to where it says pairing. Hit OK. And you see it already showed up on the list. Go ahead and hit pair. It's now connecting. And it shows you all the channels. Now you can change this where it says 7331. Click the thing. You can change the name. And we're going to change this one. Do the last part of my call sign with an A. And then you can also change up here at the top left where it says GMRSP. And you see on the screen here, it's also changed that. Everything you do will pretty much instantly show up on the radio itself. Go to name and you can change that one. And again, we'll do 382A. Save it, and now you've got the, everything named. And here's where you come in for the general settings. You can choose how you want your weather, all the hold time, microphone gain, we have that as high. Everything we did on the radio is now showing up here on the program. At the very bottom, you can reset the settings and factory data reset. Here's your channel groups. This is where you input and switch device channel group. So you have your six channels and each one of those has 30 channels in it. You have your programmable buttons. For the short press or correction on long press, I'm going to change that to sub push to talk. And again, you have four different things on two and three, and two different selections on programmable one. And from here you can also do, you can change your power, you can do single channel, double channel, you can scan. Shows you the map. And it shows you, as you see on the uh, radio, it's also switching from whatever one I press. Now, if you want to alter something in here, like I've highlighted repeater 20, 
you want to change something in there, you can go ahead and change the title. Like this one is on Santiago Peak. Save it. You can change the tone. I believe this one is 146.2. And once you've changed everything you want, go ahead and save. You can also listen to the radio stations. Now if you want to contact other people, once you've searched out and found other GMRS Pro users, that's where you go to the text window down here on the bottom. You can do messages, you can look for members if you have any. In fact, we'll go to the radio right quick and see if we can find someone. Now that we're also hooked up, we also have our GPS information coming through. This is again how you do the compass. We'll do that later. Now let's see if we can find nearby people. Oh, see, there's one problem. We are in, you cannot use this when you are in repeater mode, when you're on a repeater. So we'll go to a simplex and we'll try again. Go to nearby people, click okay. You saw the two arrows showing that it sent something. If someone's out there, it'll send it back. So I have another one of these radios. Now we're going to see if we can't send a message from one to the other. This radio is 740 Bravo. So we'll go in the menu. We'll get it to where we allow for checks. Make sure everything works. We're on G and one of the things you have to be on the same channels. So we're both on GMRS one. Go into menu signaling. Nearby people. Now, if this works right, you'll see the chevrons for the showing the signal going up, and you'll see a, get a reaction from 740 Bravo. Okay, we just saw that there was one there. Now, let's see if we can't send a message. And you just hold it to go to the ne the letters you want. Okay, now we're gonna send this. You push the red button on the bottom right, and now you can either cancel the message or say okay to send. You see how now it shows that it came from 382 Alpha. And there, push the bottom right, that brings up the message, hit it again, and then open it up. So again, when you're out, push the bottom right, push it again, then push the top left hash mark, and that opens the message, and then you can respond. I'll just have to go down, signaling, send message, hit the bottom right, send OK, and you see how it shows up 740B. You also notice that sending the message from 740B also shows up on the screen for the phone. And there it shows. Now you can just respond from here. And send it and you see how you get the it's showing the messages going back and forth
and you can keep track here. And now there's different maps on here you can use. Hitting the information icon shows you the different ones. Standard, satellite, satellite from Google. You have different terrain ones, in offline maps. And that's pretty much all there is to it for the iOS one. I'm gonna check the power real quick, see how this thing is working out. We'll start with GMRS1, low power. And we're getting about two tenths of a watt. High power. And we're over five watts. It looks like it drops down a little. Go to GMRS15, again on low power. And we're two tenths of a watt. High power. We're again over five watts. But it does drop down. And GMRS 22. Low power again. Two tenths of a watt. And on high power, again, over five watts. So it's consistent all the way across the uh, band. Pretty close or over five watts. Okay, before I end this video, I wanted to show you the impact test that was performed by a third disinterested party. It goes to show the strength of the radio and that they can handle a tumble or two. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area below. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos, and thanks again for watching.